श्री मुकेश अंबानी जी हु हैज इन फैक्ट बीन लीडिंग वेरियस गेम चेंजिंग वेंचर्स इन द कंट्री श्री मुकेश अंबानी चेयरमैन रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज most respected prime minister shri narendra modi ji respected governor shrimati anandi ben patel respected defense minister shri rajnath singh ji respected chief minister shri yogi adityanath ji distinguished dignitaries my esteemed friends from industry and business aap sabhi ko मेरा सादर नमस्कार उत्तर प्रदेश ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर्स समिट विकास का एक महाकुंभ है यहां दूसरी बार आना मेरे लिए सौभाग्य की बात है लखनऊ पुण्य नगरी है लक्ष्मण की नगरी है उत्तर प्रदेश पुण्य भूमि है प्रभु रामचंद्र जी की भूमि है गंगा यमुना सरस्वती के संगम की भूमि है परम आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी आवर नेशन हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म रिमार्केबली सिंस यू हैव बिकम प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन 2014 गाइडेड बाय योर विजन एंड ड्रिवन बाय योर लेजर शार्प फोकस ऑन एग्जीक्यूशन अ बोल्ड न्यू इंडिया इज टेकिंग शेप एंड इंडिया which will fulfill the aspirations of its 1.4 billion citizens modi ji you have aptly said that india has now entered its amrit kal this year's budget has indeed laid the foundation for india's emergence as a developed nation it stands out for its highest ever resource allocation for building the foundation for country's growth in terms of capital expenditure this is bound to not only boost economic growth but also achieve greater social welfare i am confident that india is on a very strong growth path and there are four main reasons for my conviction first indians are embracing technology at a rate unseen even in the developed world for example as we speak this year 2023 india is rolling out the fastest 5g network through the length and breadth of our country second india has the world's largest population of youth our youth is brimming with entrepreneurial energy and passion their innovations and ideas will take the world by storm third thanks to your far sighted leadership regional imbalances are fast disappearing uttar pradesh is a shining example of this the divide between urban india and rural bharat is also closing fourth and most importantly you have brought about a fundamental change in the mindset of the nation there is unprecedented hope and optimism among the people nobody in the world can question the fundal fundamentals of indian economy they are robust and now is the time for all our enterprises to step up on the accelerator because udyog and sahyog always must go hand in hand sanmaniya shri yogi ji jaise aaj puri duniya ke liye bharat aasha ka kendra ban gaya hai waise hi aaj naye bharat ke liye uttar pradesh आशा का केंद्र बन गया है नोएडा से गोरखपुर तक लोगों में जोश और उत्साह दिख रहा है 
लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की बात हो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की बात हो ईज ऑफ डूइंग की बात हो उत्तर प्रदेश भारत का उत्तम प्रदेश बनकर उभर रहा है यूपी इज ऑल्सो ब्लेस्ड विद अ हाईली मोटिवेटेड एंड रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन दे फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस रिप्रेजेंटिंग इंडिया बिजनेस कम्युनिटी एट दिस समिट वुड लाइक टू अश्योर यू दैट वी हैव कम टू पार्टनर विथ यू इन योर विजन ट्वेंटी थर्टी टूगेदर वी कैन एंड वी विल ट्रांसफॉर्म इंडिया मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्टेट into one of india's most prosperous states achieving your vision of a trillion dollar economy in the next 5 years allow me to spell out reliance's commitments towards uttar pradesh first jio will complete its roll out of 5g to cover every town and village in this state by december of 2023 that is in 10 months from today geo platforms will help modernize all areas of business and industry agriculture social sector and governance we plan to pilot our two new innovative initiatives geo school and geo ai doctor to bring top class education and healthcare most affordably to villages and small towns across the state of uttar pradesh second reliance retail will revolutionize hundreds of thousands of kiranas and small stores across up enabling them to grow more and earn more more importantly we will increase many fold our sourcing of a wide range of agriculture and non agro products from the state it will benefit our hard working kisans local artisans craftsmen msmes as well as the supply chain ecosystem in up third in new energy we will set up 10 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity the largest in up we will also start an ambitious new bio energy business रिलायंस के बायो एनर्जी उद्योग से यूपी के किसानों को बहुत बड़ा लाभ होगा हमारे किसान अन्नदाता तो है ही अब ऊर्जादाता भी बनेंगे इसके अलावा सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट में सुधार होगा और पर्यावरण शुद्ध होगा फोर्थ आर फिलेंट्रॉफिक आर्म रिलायंस फाउंडेशन इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द सक्सेस और प्रधानमंत्री जी Namami Gange Mission it will continue to engage with partners and government in its mission to transform lives and livelihoods in the state in a nutshell reliance will continue to work for up ji jaan se and we always back our words with action when i last visited the summit in 2018 reliance was just beginning its journey in uttar pradesh and i had committed to yogi ji that reliance would be a reliable partner to uttar pradesh true to our word from that day till now we have invested 50000 crores in uttar pradesh our businesses have not only been growth multipliers as they enable several sectors of the economy to grow but also employment multipliers our investments have generated over 80000 direct and indirect jobs in the state today i am happy to announce that we plan to invest an additional 75000 crores in up over the next 4 years across geo retail and renewable businesses these new investments will create an additional over 1 lakh jobs in the state uttar pradesh ka swarnim yug shuru hua hai sabhi up vasiyon ko meri hardik shubhkamnaye i wish this summit and the state all the success bahut bahut dhanyawad thank you
उत्तर प्रदेश की उन्नति और प्रगति में और अपना सहयोग देने का और अब देवी सजनों आमंत्रित करते हैं हमारे अगले आइकॉनिक बिजनेस लीडर को जिन्हें लोग पॉपुलरली मैराथन मैन के नाम से भी जानते हैं और जिन्हें वर्ष 2022 में पद्म भूषण से सुशोभित किया गया था और जो देश के सबसे बड़े व सबसे पुराने बिजनेस हाउस को लीड कर रहे हैं चेयरमैन टाटा सन्स श्री एम चंद्रशेखरन जी श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी रिस्पेक्टेड गवर्नर मोहनदी बेन जी रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश योगी आदित्यनाथ जी रिस्पेक्टेड डिफेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया राजनाथ सिंह जी मिनिस्टर्स फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट fellow businessmen all delegates friends from media it is a great privilege and honor to be here at the global investor summit 2023 of uttar pradesh and share a few thoughts india under the strong visionary leadership of our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji has achieved a position where we are going to see india being the fastest growing economy not only in the current year i'm pretty sure in the coming years of the decade it is not only about economic growth what the honorable prime minister has enabled is a 360 degree development that is because there is a confidence and aspiration in every indian in every nook and corner of the country so we are seeing economic development development in quality of life development in sports arts and across the board you see it exhibiting itself in terms of the aspiration and want to achieve more everywhere from a economy point of view India's dream of becoming a 5 trillion dollar economy 10 trillion and again 25 trillion when we become 100 years after independence is very much achievable and we are well on our path and we have started the amrit kal with the first budget which i would say lays a very strong foundation because we are seeing a tremendous investment towards infrastructure development and also policies that will promote huge consumption i feel we are in a situation where we are going to see growth led by infrastructure as well as consumption we are going to see rural growth as well as urban growth domestic growth as well as exports growth it is a very unique situation because this has not happened usually one thing or the other will pull us down i think we are in a unique situation the world is going through three fundamental transitions digital artificial intelligence transition energy transition and transition towards building a global value chain to meet the supply chain demands of the world i would say india 
he is very uniquely positioned to not only participate but lead in all the three dimensions i will take a minute on the ai and digital transition we are very uniquely placed because of three reasons one india has adopted digital in a very unique way to solve problems at scale both in public services delivery as well as in the private sector second we have a most successful it industry which has enormous capability and third we have a talent pool which is very unparalleled so we are very uniquely positioned towards this transition not only for india but for the world second in energy transition we will be the only nation which will be adding significant capacity of energy more than twice or thrice of what we have today in the next two decades <coughs> with this kind of a growth transition becomes easier the transition is not a substitution transition becomes a growth engine and third in terms of the global supply chain again the government policies whether it is the pli schemes or simply the vision of the prime minister to take india to be a leader in the most important sectors of the future he is going to drive a huge amount of investment capability building and ecosystem development which is all going to lead into enormous amount of growth domestically and most importantly globally from a export point of view coming specifically to uttar pradesh uttar pradesh is already the third largest state in the country and from the current 225 230 billion it is absolutely well placed to capitalize on the trends and become a trillion dollar economy when india will be a 5 trillion and again become a 2 trillion dollar economy by the time india reaches 10 trillion there are three or four sectors which are very suitably placed one is agriculture already up has a very strong presence it is the largest producer of oil seeds is among the top 3 in terms of wheat sugar cane fruits vegetables and pulses and it is so uniquely advantageous that 87% of the zone area is fully irrigated which is significantly higher than the national average of 50% by applying the technology of the modern industrial era up can dramatically increase productivity in its agricultural sector the manufacturing sector presents another opportunity because up is much below the national average or below the other states up only <coughs> gets 12% contribution from this sector with the tremendous focus on infrastructure development and the value chain opportunity that is presented globally up has a fantastic opportunity to increase its share from manufacturing by focusing on advanced manufacturing precision electronics semiconductors assembly and testing defense and aerospace pharmaceuticals all of this are going to happen in this coming decade and up with its vast 
land and progressive policies and infrastructure can capitalize. Third area is tourism. Already UP is the largest in terms of at attracting foreign visitors. Close to 5 million tourists from abroad visit UP. UP is most uniquely positioned because of its history, because of the UNESCO heritage sites, 24 wildlife sanctuaries, and Varanasi, the Jyotirling, and a number of religious places which are of huge significance both for domestic tourists and for international tourists. The tourism opportunity in UP is unparalleled to any other place. So these three growth engines can significantly contribute to Uttar Pradesh's dream of becoming a trillion dollar economy and in the process can address a, a lot of jobs and address quality of life as well as bring down the inequality that exists between the different 75 states and bring a range which is much closer where the per capita income and quality of life can lift all people in the state of Uttar Pradesh. A few words on Tata Group. Tata Group has a long history of presence in the state. From our steel company, the automotive company, and a large presence of TCS, and all our retail companies, financial services companies, Tata Advanced Systems, Tata Power, 18 companies of the state of, of the Tata Group are deeply present. And today, more than 50,000 people work in the state of Uttar Pradesh. We are on a huge expansion across all our companies in the state. Our hotel business sees tremendous opportunities in the state because of the tourism that's going to come, both religious tourism as well as wildlife and other aspects that attract tourists. Air India has a detailed plan to connect every part of UP to the rest of India and potentially to the important destinations of the world. And we are already having huge investments in NIDA, both from a TCS point of view and also from Air India point of view. And I'm happy to say that we are going to build an integrated multimodal air cargo through Air India sets with our partner Zurich Airport in the new Jawahar Airport. So the group is very committed and sees a tremendous opportunity and I want to express our gratitude to the phenomenal leadership that is being provided by the Honorable Chief Minister under the vision of our Prime Minister for clean governance huge infrastructure development as well as an atmosphere which is so much business friendly. I wish the summit a grand success and thank you for giving me this opportunity.